Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at p5.play. Let's get started. So for this bit of the series, we're going to be having a little bit of fun with animation. Uh, specifically, we're going to be using the p5.play library, which is a uh, very interesting library that is very similar to the p5.js that we've been going through in recent videos. And it's going to be allowing us to create animated videos and GIFs and all types of nice interactive uh, graphics, okay? So it's, we're basically going to be having a lot of fun with uh, animation. So first off, I would suggest going... So I would say go to their website. Again, you can see even one of their examples kind of going in the background here. And then go to their GitHub source and go down here and grab this piece of code here, okay? This is the direct link to the library. Uh, you can also download it if you if you feel so inclined to. And we're going to go on and put it over here. So we're in our nice sketch library uh, in our file, and we're gonna go over here and go to the HTML index. And I'm gonna zoom out for a second so you guys can see where I'm gonna put this. And I'm gonna put this down here below the script. So we have this other script tag in here and this is a, uh, again, here we have our normal P5JS uh, uh, library stuff that we've been using in our other videos. But then we also have here um, p5.play.js so that we can access those uh, programs and functions that they've created up for us. So go back over to our sketch and now we're going to actually, uh, before we do that, I'm gonna uh, zoom in a little bit here. Uh, I've created up, and it's something that we're going to need, okay? I'm going to go on and create a folder, and I'm gonna call this assets, because again, in animation, we're going to actually have to have some sort of asset, which we're going to import some files and whatnot. So I'm going to go on and upload a file, and I have in here, you guys can go basically anywhere you want to to get some files, but I just kind of grabbed some free uh, kind of little, uh, sprite sheet off the internet you can see here it's this little little I don't know it looks kind of like a rat or a raccoon or something to put on and we'll be using different sprites uh, throughout the class so that you guys can kind of get in tune with doing some I suggest you guys go on and just kind of find some of your own um, I'll put a link to this file in the description so that you guys can actually follow along and actually have access to these if you want so once we have those up, and notice I put them inside of the asset folder, they're just gonna be called, called tile zero all the way to tile seven, so that we can get uh, uh, a little bit used to uh, what it's gonna look like. And again, we have our basic setup functions in here. But one thing that we're going to have to do with all of this is we're going to have to start making a pre uh, a preload function and also some variables so I'm gonna say var uh, raccoon because uh, again I'm assuming that it's a raccoon uh, and let's go on and say something like a function preload here and this is so that whenever you have a nice um, visualization or a function or anything else and you want an image to be pulled in or even sometimes whenever working with data you want that to be preloaded so that there's no hang time whenever you get up to doing your setup function or your draw functions so the next thing that we want to do here is go on and load the animations so we'll do something like raccoon uh, here is equal to load animation and then I'm going to do what their documents say, okay? So, and that's actually to go, and you should be able to do something like assets forward slash tile 000.png, okay? So I'll do uh, tile 000.png, comma, tile 007.png. Now, supposedly, okay, if you do the first and the last of this, uh, list that you have, it should automatically fill everything in for you. I've yet to actually get that to work, um, but let's let's go on and give it a try one more time um, because I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm feeling lucky today. And let's go on and do this. We go and say animation raccoon 
here, and then we want it at 200, 200. Okay. Well, go over here. And let me maybe uh, say um, animated raccoon. Okay, and let's go on and run this. Oh, and here it says we have a bit of an error, so let's see what it had here. So as we saw, uh, and I, again, I was talking about this and I wasn't really thinking whenever I was uh, uh, trying to code everything up, but the fact is that I put this in the asset folder. So we need to go on and say assets. Oops, and I, I know it's because you're running. And then do assets. And so oh, now we see this little hoppity thing. Now here's here's the deal here, okay? I know that this is incorrect, okay? Because it should be a lot cleaner. Again, that's their their little functionality that they say that they have in there isn't actually working. So what we have to do to fix this is to go on and do assets tile 001.png whoops and then again you'll have to do this for for each of them okay and so I'm gonna pause here for a second and I'll go on and um, clean this up and then I'll show you guys the final result okay so we're back and you can see here that I have all of the assets now listed out. And again, we could maybe make up a nice little function uh, later on to be able to grab any assets that start with and end with and kind of spit all of this out for us. But again, this is this is just a small little uh, GIF here. And later on, I'll show you how to actually just use a, a sprite sheet itself, which is very uh, fun and useful. But let's go on and take a look now at it. And notice here, now he's kind of hopping. And you can see here that whenever I cut up this GIF, I have some weird little blips in here from the other um, the other parts, because again, I didn't, whenever I cut this up, I wasn't, I was just doing this nice and quick. Uh, but you can see here that he kind of now looks uh, really hoppity and all of that. And we may be able to do some more interesting things with some better, um, or maybe I'll try and find some better images later on. Uh, but today, this is what we're gonna be doing. So if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.